Welcome to Thriving Tribesmen. My name is Curry, your host, and I'm excited to be making this episode. Nara Smith. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> okay, so I was watching a video, and this guy was reacting to videos of uh, these ladies who were reacting to this lady. I've never seen somebody get so much hate uh, in all because of them choosing to live a traditional life of serving the children and serving their husband. And there's a lot of women that were literally triggered by this woman. And as this guy went into the video showing, you know, why, what was going on and started presenting the case around this woman, this woman is a goddess. Nara Smith is... I think in this day and age, what would call a goddess. This is a woman that is devoted to her husband and devoted to her children. And she's made it, if she's painting, her being a traditional wife is her masterpiece. And this woman is absolutely exceptional in terms of the the content that she creates. And I can see why women absolutely hate her. Because this woman has taken devotion to husband and serving husband and kids to the upper, like the next level. This is your first draft pick in the NFL. If you if, if you're picking a wife, this is your first pick. This is your your Patrick Mahomes. This is your pick. Like she is exceptional. Now I want you guys to go look and give her love and you know whatever like at least from it. A, a a female perspective and I think it's really important for you guys to actually see this and I'm not saying that every woman should be this woman because everybody's different and everybody's got different values and not everybody's going to be a traditional wife but it does say something about the female investment within a relationship where within most relationships women are absolutely fucking coasting within a relationship and are looking for even more reasons, reasons to do less within the relationship. And when they do less, they do not have any intrinsic value into, or at least put any value towards the relationship. And they don't see themselves as valuable in the relationship. And therefore, it's going to the point where it's a slippery slope to the point where they don't see themselves as valuable. They don't see the relationship as valuable. And... You get it? Now, again, this is probably one of the reasons why a lot of these women end up uh, 10 years into a relationship saying, you know what, I don't really know myself. I now need to go and find myself outside of this relationship. And this is one of the things that triggers the divorce because they do not invest anything in the relationship. I know part of it is our fault because we've been fed the lie that you have to be the white knight in order for you to be an incredible husband. So the measure for being a credible husband is to be able to make you free from anything that is going to cause any friction within a relationship. And again, this is a massive lie when it comes to it because you are doing all the dishes, you're doing all the housework, you're doing, uh, you're not arguing, you're not making decisions. There's, there's so many things that you've given up in order to make life so much easier for the woman. And therefore, the lack of investment that she's putting within the relationship is decreasing the value that she sees within the relationship. And therefore... That's why she's. you are in the place where you're right, where she actually doesn't even, even see the value of having sex. Now, when you look at this woman that is a goddess, Nara Smith, um, she is completely devoted to her husband and her children. And again, to be fair, it's, it could be a case that she's just doing it for, 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 for clicks. But... If she's truly living the way she's portraying on the videos, that's an absolute god. Somebody who's her investment for the relationship is so high that it is setting the bar for where women should be operating. And this is why it's so triggering for women, because all of a sudden, who the fuck are you to try and tell me to do more? <laughs> and this is why they're so triggered. They're triggered because all of a sudden it makes them it, it it opens the curtains on what they're why they're so fucked up like everything's all fucked up they're not doing enough in within relationships i mean just an example of what this woman does uh her kids said they want grilled cheese for for lunch she went on to make the bread makes the cheese and 
Andy Potter to fix the fucking stuff. <laughs> Absolutely exceptional. And I'm again, I'm not saying your wife has to make bread and shit like that. What I'm just saying is that what you are while you're trying to lower her investment because you think it's valuable when you lower her investment. You know when people tell you that she's tired, so you have to do, do more around the house. That's fucking bullshit. She has to invest in the fucking relationship. If she's not, she's not going to see it as valuable and therefore you're going to find yourself in a sexist relationship. In fact, one of the things that you want to do is reframe how she uh, comes into the relationship. In fact, uh, a lot of women, they go under this little banner of anxiety and depression for as a reason for them not to engage in anything in terms of investment within the relationship. And of course, if somebody gives you that, um, spill about my mental health is suffering, so you you are going to step up to the plate. But generally, when they do, when they do so, uh, you you taking on any responsibility that's going to stop her from uh, doing anything, actually is aiding her to stay within that depression and anxiety state. Whereas if you say, okay, uh, I know it could, I can see this is what's going on. But I would like you for you to do this little bit or do a little bit of this investment so you can start feeling good about yourself. Some of these people are mums. Some of them are wives. In fact, they are mums and wives. Um, they're not doing enough as wives and they feel shit even more shit about themselves. It's like, you know, when you've got a gym membership and then you're not going to the gym. The fact that you're not going to the gym makes you even more shit for the fact that you're not going to the gym. And then you've got this vicious cycle of uh, you then probably some... And I'm speaking about myself. This word sometimes happens that I'll go into this weird cycle where I'm not going to the gym, and then I feel shit for not going to the gym, and then it shits because I'm not going to the gym, and then just this vicious cycle where it's just uh, self destructive. And women do this; they do they get into this weird uh, self destructive behavior. They know that they're not having sex with you. They know they're not showing up properly as their wife to, towards you, and therefore they feel shit about it. And then they just continue in this vicious cycle, and you. Uh, not allowing it to invest within the relationship because you feel like it's going to be somehow magically get her to a place where she's going to feel good about herself. She won't feel good about herself. She's just allowing that cycle to continue. So you have to get her to invest. Now, I'm not saying your your wife has to be traditional. She has to be doing all the... No, I'm not talking about what I'm saying. I'm just saying that in terms of um, her investment into the relationship, what she has to be doing has to go up. She has to be doing more. Like you have to be demanding for more. If you're not, if you like, in, like if you don't demand for more, she's not ever going to see any value within that relationship. She's not even going to get a moment of fulfillment. We uh, there's a good example around this is that uh, whenever if you decided to run the marathon today and you started training for it, the first two to three weeks of training for that are going to be absolute shit. I can guarantee there'll be absolute shit. You're going to hate it. Every single time you wear the shoes to try and run, everything is telling you not to do it. And it's going to take a while before you start getting some competence and start gaining some fitness and then start getting some confidence. And all of a sudden now, you because you're feeling a little bit more confident, then all of a sudden you're, you're in tune. You, this is what you're going to be doing. And all of a sudden you're, you're, you're gaining... Uh, marginal gains over a period of time so you can be successful with that marathon run. So again, this is what is very important that, yes, initially when you start demanding for more, there'll be a pushback, there'll be resistance, there'll be all sorts of things that will go in terms of chaos, but it also gives them that opportunity that over a period of time, they'll start getting some competence, some confidence, some, you know, start seeing a, a value within the things that they're doing and that contribution towards the relationship is going to be absolutely what makes the difference because as she starts investing to the relationship she starts seeing it as valuable and this is one of the things that is important that the the lower investment that she has to the relationship the less she sees any value inside it so just as a, a good takeaway and we we'll stop it over here uh thank you very much guys for listening hopefully i will be seeing you guys soon take care